Hey everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time, we completed the game. The game has been completed, we have seen the end of the game, and we unlocked extra new game and extra costume, which is... has a plenty of new features we're going to be looking at this time. So, the first thing I want to mention here... There are some settings that I've changed. We're going to be having a high blood volume during this this run of the game. We're going to be seeing a lot of blood from the enemies. Low health indicator is also on. We will see a little indicator on the screen that tells us when our health is running low. Both of these both of those options were available from the beginning, but this is a new option that we got, just got and I believe you can get this up to times 5 and every time you you complete the game it adds another multiplier onto it, bullet adjust. So whenever we pick up ammo, it'll give us double the amount of ammo. But maybe we won't really be using that ammo as uh, as much as, as, as we're thinking in just a moment here, but there are a few other changes that I have made. So we're going to be playing through this quite a bit differently, and I will talk a bit about that once we actually start the game. The first run we, we did, we were much more cautious. We didn't want to fight many monsters. We didn't... We just try to avoid them. Yes, we took out some enemies, but we just mostly wanted to avoid them. We didn't really want much confrontation. This time is going to be quite a bit different. Something else I have done... I have also restored the original cutscenes, the actual video files in the game. There aren't many pre-rendered cut cutscenes, so you, there really isn't much of a difference there. But there are a few cut, uh, d uh, differences with the cutscenes, and primarily the the opening, which we're going to watch here in just a moment. That's that has a little bit something different if you compare it to the original. And something else I wanted to do with the HD collection. This is not the HD collection. I don't like the HD collection. Not many people do. There are new voices in the HD collection, and I would have loved to have shown them off with this version if there was some sort of mod or something to allow it. But unfortunately, there was not any any mod to be able to do that. So we're still going to just have the original voices. And yeah, we're just we're just go fr from there. So I want to point out here during the opening scene what is different that they took out for some reason in the HD collection. If you compare this to the quality of the HD Collections video, this is much, much worse, but... All right, that right there, th that little scene right here, that was taken out of the HD collection for some reason. It's just, it's replaced by Heather turning on her flashlight at the amusement park. I, I don't know why, but if it has anything to do with Konami losing the source code of the video of the of the game, then you obviously maybe had had something to do with that. Maybe that was an unfinished before they put that in there. But everything else was pretty much the same. You can watch them side by side, and besides the quality difference, that's the only little scene that is different. Just a little, a little thing, thing there.
And that little bit at the end there with that light, that is also a bit different on the HD collection. All right, so now we're actually going to be hopping in here and we're going to see what is different. I've already put in all the costume codes, so we have pretty much all the costumes unlocked. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of costumes that are not available in the PC version as opposed to the PlayStation 2 version, but let's go ahead and start an extra new game. We're going to be playing it on hard this time on both action level and riddle level. And we're going to see how that actually makes a difference. So let's go ahead and, and hop on in here. Call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartland. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. All right, and Heather. Heather looks quite a bit different this time. We didn't have that nightmare when we first started the game as we did last time in the amusement park. No, we just woke right up here. So maybe, just maybe, that previous playthrough that we did, maybe that was just all a nightmare. And now she's actually... She's actually woken up now, and this is how she actually is. Maybe this is her true identity here. Maybe this is how she truly looks. So let's take a look at what's new here. We have the extra costumes that we have unlocked. I've already put in all of the codes. There we go. Okay. So. Here's all the ones that we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And as I said, there were a lot more that were available that are not in this version. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at them. This is the Golden Rooster shirt. Looks pretty nice. Maybe it'd be better if we go outside. 
Can we get a better view of it out here? A little bit, maybe. Kind of look at the back. Look at the front. So this one you get by achieving a 10 star ranking. So to, I think we got a seven star or six or seven star last time we played. So in order to get a, a 10 star, there's quite a bit you have to do. I don't know all of the specific requirements, but you have to complete it, the game pretty fast. You have to complete it on harder difficulties. You have to complete it multiple times. There are a lot of re requirements for it. Next, Royal Flush shirt. Take a look at that. That's right, we can kind of zoom in and do. There we go. Some cards on it. So this one here, we will actually be trying to figure out this riddle during this playthrough. It should be here. How you get this one is there are clues in the chapel library. So when when we're in the in the this is only happens during an extra new game, but I believe it's in the area that that we see Vincent in in the church area. And there's a bunch of books about tarot cards. So apparently there there are some clues there about how to unlock this shirt. And the password is just the numbers, I guess, that, that correspond to those. Okay. Blockhead shirt. Take a good look at this one. It's Silent Hill 3, and there's a little block blockhead guy. This one is actually quite interesting because this one would probably be quite difficult to get. This one, in order to achieve it, in order to unlock it, the, the, the code for it, you have to kill less than 10 enemies. So, yeah, that's pretty much avoiding all enemies entirely. The light shirt. We can kind of see it a little bit. Like a woman, another woman there, the light coming down. Here we go. This one you unlock by it. it it's actually the code is on the Silent Hill 3 we website. This one I'm going to save for last because this is the one that we will be equipping during this playthrough for, for, for a very specific reason. So I'll talk about that one last. The Killer Rabbit shirt. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at this one. This is Robbie the Rabbit. This one we get in actually the guidebook that I have. The Brandy Games official guidebook. So this code is, is in there. Okay, next. Fancy and shirt. This one's also pretty cool. This one you unlock by completing all riddle difficulties. So that, that would I also would include. I, I guess this would also include easy difficulty as well, which I'm not gonna do easy. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that one. Next one, one sin. This is in the. Famitsu Magazine. Okay, we have a few more. Don't touch. Don't touch. What does this say right there? Oh, I can't read that. It's it's I can almost read it, but I can't quite be be kind, it learn, and be. Something, something along this line. Let me see if we, if we can get like a better cl close-up here. No, that's too dark. How can we get a better close-up, I wonder? I don't think that, that we can. Let me try to back up as much as I can here. Be kind, it learn, and be. Yeah, that that is what it says. Okay. Okay, so that that this one you actually get... It is found in a magazine in the hospital women's locker room. So you can only get this one during a Sega playthrough as well. All right, the Heather shirt. This is actually the code that, that we unlocked with the happy, happy birthday code that we got at the end of the previous run. This one is complete the game at least once. And you see her there shooting about a shooter gun. Really cool. Okay, and then for... 
the zipper costume. This is also in the guidebook that I have, the Brandy Games guidebook. A little zipper there. This has Silent Hill on the back. All right, so now for the costume we will be wearing during this playthrough. There it is. The God of Thunder shirt. This one actually transforms her look. Really cool. How you get this one is whenever you complete hard, which we will see here, you unlock an extreme difficulty. Extreme one. Okay, you complete extreme one, you unlock extreme two. Complete extreme two, you unlock th extreme three, all the way up to extreme ten difficulty. Yes. And when you complete extreme ten difficulty, then you unlock this shirt. So you have to go through a lot to get it. But guess what? I just put in the code and I got it. There are 14 codes from other strategy guidebooks and magazines like Game Informer, Game Pro, PlayStation Magazine, Play Magazine, IGN.com, GameSpy that are not in the game. Not in the PC version or the HD collection, but it is in the PlayStation 2 version. So, I mentioned that we will be, we will be playing the game a bit differently now. Yeah, Heller is going to now... She's going to be killing everything in sight. She is more of a of a masochist now. She enjoys also receiving pain from enemies and she enjoys giving pain to the enemies. Just as that happy birthday guy said. Which do you prefer to give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. In this case, Heather likes both equally. So, unlimited submachine gun. Here is our new weapon that we got for completing, for, for defeating the final boss. With a melee weapon. Fires unlimited rounds, no submachine gun bullets necessary. This is what we'll be killing most of the enemies with. That's all we have to do. And that is what's going to start Heather's killing spree. This is how Heather truly is. This is her true self now who is awakened here. She enjoys just killing anything in sight. Anything she can possibly see. Makes you wonder if what Vincent said was true. If these are not actually monsters. If these are human beings that we are killing. What are we actually doing? Why Heather didn't use her submachine gun, I have no idea. But, oh well. We will be using it. Even if she doesn't want to use it, we will be using it. And the first thing we'll be doing here... Well... You gotta... Whoa, look, we're actually really light lighting up, up the corpse there. There we go. All right. 
So we have to give pain and we have to receive pain. And here are our first, well, actually our second victims right here. Yeah, quickly they got taken out, even on hard. And they can't even hurt me. Look, look at that, they're trying. There we go. And there's also an increased volume of blood. Just the way Heather likes it. She likes this blood very, very much. Well, she just ran into the wall there. I guess it's just another way she can hurt herself, right? The enemies die so quickly. Alright, something else that we unlocked. If you remember, we also unlocked another new weapon. What a weird doorknob. I bet I could... Oof, take it off. Got a beam saber. Alright, here's our other new weapon here. Beam saber, a sword shining with a strange force. A switch turns the blade on and off. And there we go. Now we also have a new weapon here as well. Although I will mostly be using the machine gun. But let's try our new weapon out uh, out on this dog right here after he hits us a little bit. There we go. There's a lot of stuff, but none of it looks really useful, huh? Hmm. Still quite a powerful weapon. But not quite as powerful as the submachine gun. Let's see how how quickly we can take care of the closers with our unlimited submachine gun. Just like that, they just go down so fast. If I didn't know better, I would think we were playing on easy difficulty. Everything is just a breeze with this submachine gun. Alright. So, if we unlock the third secret weapon, it would appear here. We would see that during our third playthrough, but... All right, now let's see if we take a look here. Natural, what does it say? Not, net. Yeah, it says natural milk, huh? Good taste flour. That's always good. Okay. And she just keeps running into walls. She must really like that. I wonder if that's just a hard difficulty thing. Or if that happens regardless, because I don't remember that happening. But Okay, let's go ahead and use our tongs and get out our key that we need. All these costumes clogging up our inventory. Gotta wonder, where does Heather keep these costumes? Some of the scenes I, I will skip, but not all of them. Because there will be some funny times where it will be interesting to see her new outfit. There we go. Oh, and look at this. Thank you for hurting me. But look at that! all that blood that came out just from the hit that he did to us. Hmm.
quite surprising actually how little damage they're they're doing. I would think it's on easy. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's just Heather is just so tough. She can withstand a lot of hits now. Okay, so let's enter the bookstore over here and be greeted with our first challenging puzzle. Because this is hard riddle level after all. I have not done hard riddle level. This one's going to be quite a, quite the challenge, to be honest. Alright, so we remember this bookstore right over here. Remember all these Shakespeare books. And we had to put them on the shelves. The puzzles are going to be hard for real. Yes, they are. They really, really are. So, last, if you remember, we just had to put them up on the bookshelf and figure out what the puzzle was. On easy difficulty, there were only two books on, on the floor. On, on normal, they're all on the floor. You just have to sort them. On hard, this is probably the most challenging puzzle in the game. I really don't even fully know what I'm in for here, but let's, let's, take it a, let's read what the, the guidebook has to say about it. Hope you've been brushing up on your Shakespeare lately, and no, I have not. Because you would need a good understanding of several of the, the bra uh, bard's plays to know how to solve this. First, examine each book in, in the inventory. Heather describes the play containing, contained in each volume. Then read the poem beside the exit door. The poem written on the memo tells you how to arrange the books. Okay, and then it kind of gives a bit of a description here. And then... Alright. So, let's go re read the memo real quick. And, you know, I don't know anything about this, so I will be consulting the, the guide. But let's, let's see what, what the memo has to say. But the hardest puzzle in this game. And here is a strategy. Art thou pl player or audience? Be as it may, the end doth remain. All go on toward the death. The first, word at, the first words at thy left hand, a false lunacy, a madly dancing man, hearing unhearable words, drawn to a beloved grave. And there, mayhap, true madness at last. As did this one, playing at death, find true death at the last. Killing a nameless lover, she pierced her heart, rent by sorrow. Don't lie, invite truth. Don't verity, but wear the mask of falsehood. Ah, thou pitiful, thou miserable ones. Still admit, still admits lies. Through the end cometh not. Wherefore yearn for death. Wilt thou attend to thy beloved? Truths and lies, life and death. A game of turning white to black, and black to white. It's not a silence brimming with love more precious than flattery, a peaceful slumber preferred to a throne, dismerched with blood. One vengeful man spilled blood for two, two, youths, two youthful shed tears for three. Three witches disappeared thusly, and one only the four keys remain. Ah, but verily. In here is a strategy. Art thou players or the audience? Oh, we already read this one here. There's nothing which cannot become a puppet or fate or an onlooker peering into the cage. I have no idea. I have no clue. All I know is by reading that, that's what, in one of the songs on the soundtrack, well, there's actually several songs. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, the uh, main singer, she recites some of those poems. She recites some of those sayings throughout some of the songs. You can hear that. And so as I was reading it, I remember her, her speaking that. Okay, something else we have to do. We have to examine these books. It's not much for sentimental slop like Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so that's Romeo and Juliet. King Lear is on this one. I've never read that. One line from Macbeth that I just can't forget. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor 
player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Okay. Hamlet is in this one. I've never read that. <laughs> Othello is in this one. I mustn't... I must have read it, but I forgot what happens. So, <laughs> again, I have no idea. I don't know anything of really of Shakespeare. I really do, do not know. So, we're just going to go based on the guidebook here, and we're just going to try to analyze it, I guess, the, the best we can. So, it said the first verse is introductory in nature. The second verse describes the plot of Hamlet, which is contained in Shakespeare number four. So that is our first book we need to use. Wait, we need to approach the bookshelf a bit better. There we go. Okay, you've only ever read Oedipus? Yeah, I, I've, I, I've read Macbeth. That was the one that I read in school. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a clue. Heather doesn't also have a clue either. So, not only that, if you look, there's, there's no password on these books. We have to put it in order, and then the door unlocks. That's how this works. Okay. Next it says, the third verse refers to the final scene of Romeo and Juliet. So now, that is book number one. So we want to put Romeo and Juliet on the shelf. The fourth verse has no relevance to solving the puzzle, but only serves to confuse so yeah, so they make it even more confusing. With references to black and white, the fifth verse is referring to Othello, contained in Shakespeare number five. There you go. The sixth verse of the poem actually refers to two different plays. The first two lines are a quote from King Lear, contained in Shakespeare number two. The rest contains a reference to Throne of Blood, which is the title of Akira Kuros... Hang on. Kurosawa's famous samurai adaptation of Macbeth. So, that, that, that would be number three. So, number two first, and then number three. So our, our door should now, be, sh should now be open. Oh no. Hang on a minute. Okay, so we have to, okay, we had to put in, put in, put in the, the, the code. Okay, so, so there is a code. There is a code. I thought it was just going to unlock the door. Four, one, five, two, three. Then what it says? Okay, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not the end of the puzzle. We don't put it in, in, in like that, no. Okay, so there's actually a little bit more. There's actually a little bit more to this puzzle. You should now have all five volumes arranged on the shelf in the order 41523. The remaining paragraph of the poem describes some changes to the numbers. The first indicates that the volumes containing Hamlet should be doubled. Thus, four becomes eight. The next line says to multiply the volume containing Romeo and Juliet by three. Thus, one becomes three. The remaining lines tell you that the volume containing Macbeth disappeared. And so you have, so, and so you remove the last three. Finally, you have a four number passcode, eight, three, five, and then they have Z here. The answer is the same each time you play hard riddle level. So I don't know what Z refers to. I think they meant two. So let's go ahead and try this. Eight, three, five, two. See, look, it's even the guidebook trying to screw you up. Eight, three, five, two. There we go. We unlocked it. So let's see how our conf confrontation goes with Claudia with our new outfit. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? 
Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me, and your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> You know, at any point, Heather, you could just whip out this unlimited submachine gun and just fire away. You don't have to listen to anything Claudia has to say. You don't have to worry about her. You could just take her out at any moment. But no. I guess not. Oh, no. Uh, huh. Let me take a look here. I'm not sure what warning you got there from Nightbot there, J uh, Juniper, but I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know what word or phrase she, she repeated there. Oh, you just said LOL, okay. I'll have to, I'll, I'll, I'll have to tw tweak that because it's never just, I don't know, some, some, some people. Sometimes it, it just blocks people for no good reason. Let me, I'll take a look at that, look at that. As Heather gets scared here. When she shouldn't be, because she's pretty tough looking right now. Is this a dream? It's gotta be. Not even a kid could believe in this. But when am I going to back up? And here we are in this creepy, creepy area that Heather doesn't doesn't really care about. She's just going to kill everything in sight. As she does. Take a look at our our map real fast. Okay, so we're actually on the first floor. I guess we need to go into every room and just kill everything that we can. Thank you, doggy. Actually, enjoy that a lot, doggy. Thank you so very much. I like how they just kind of like twitch in the ground when you uh, shoot. Now there is a way that I can quick use an item, but it, do it doesn't seem to be really working. There we go. Take care of all of those. I don't think that there is anything over here, is there? This is this is just a dead end, I believe. Just make sure, yeah. Do hear some more doggies? I believe there's also an increased amount of enemies, too. Oh, ampule. Yes, we need as many healing supplies as we can get. Okay.
Let me see something real quick, actually. We look. Button config. Yeah, right here. It says it's button 10. I, I know what the zoom is, but... Yeah, that is the correct button, but for some reason it's just not allowing me to do it. Because it would be convenient, you know, just press the button right now. Oh wait, I think we have to... That's what it is. We have to go into here, into our supplies, and we have to equip it. There we go. So now if we... There we go. So now we have a quick shortcut to heal. And I am playing with, with the controller. It's much easier with the controller. We have a closer here. Hello there, Clo Look, they don't even want to mess with Heather. They are scared of Heather, actually. They are honestly quite intimidated by, by Heather. As, as their heads just twitch. We just have three dead closers here. We never even killed a closer during the first playthrough. We never even bothered to do that, but now we're just killing everything in sight. Everything we possibly can is going to be dead. All by Heather's hands, because she enjoys killing. Handgun bullets, useless. Although, because it is double the amount of handgun bullets, let's see how many we have. A hundred! We already have a hundred! Yeah, look at that. Get our detergent. Let's knock on the door. Three knocks, two knocks back. Someone is in there. But unfortunately, Heather has already killed them. You just didn't actually see the process by which it happened. But yeah, she took care of that person too. Now it's time for Heather to reach into this dirty, nasty water. You know, her outfit kind of blends in to this environment. Oh, forget it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? She's, yeah, she's kind of camouflaged. This is her camouflage gear, pretty much. It's kind of fitting. It really is. Doggy. Thank you, doggy. Oh, you hear him moaning on the ground. There we go. Hmm. What do we have over here? That's interesting. Okay. With Heather's bloody footprints, as there's just blood all over the place. Bulletproof vest, huh? Well, does Heather want to even equip this? Well, I guess I probably should, because I don't want to run out of too many healing items, because it is a harder difficulty. I can't take as many hits. All right, we got the hangar. Now it's time to go back and go up to the next floor. Oh wait, there's another enemy here. Oh, look at you! And you're dead. All these areas are just going to be devoid of monsters. All you're going to see is blood. 
you're not even going to really hear any music. It's just going to be just light ambience because there's not going to be any monsters around to produce the music. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead onto the next floor. As she reaches over her hanger. Okay, let's get up there, Heather. That means we get to kill the, uh, all those enemies in that one room that I always had a hard hard time with. All those. Oh, I thought I thought the game froze there. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I even bothered to look at that, but I don't know, just just because. I'm gonna save. Just to be sure. This is the room. There we go, we gotta hear their cries. As they now are all dead. Just the way Heather likes. She likes her enemies. Dead. Oh, and what is this I hear? Is this another enemy in here? Now there is a glitch on the HD collection of this game where when you shoot the unlimited sh submachine gun, it just produces a horrendous noise. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. We got our walnut. Anything else in this room? I don't think that there is. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and head up to the third floor now. Now, if you remember the first time we did this, there's an enemy up here that was preventing us from reading this moon door over here. Not anymore. That was the only closure that I think that we had killed. We had to kill him because I wanted to read the moon door, of course. Of course you gotta read, read the moon door. Heather's just not even scared of these enemies. She just doesn't even care anymore. The more dead they are, the better, she says. Nothing in this room whatsoever. This is just a dud room. Yep, just, just a dud. Almost kind of lonely without anything to chase us down, attack us. As we get a cooked key from inside this doggy over here. Hmm. Something else we didn't do last time. We didn't take a look out here. We can kind of see the other buildings out here. Not very clearly, but a little bit.
All right, well, we have the stuff that we need now. Go ahead, head back down to the next floor. Now, I believe, um... No, no, well, I'm just, I'm just kind of curious about, about the boss. How quickly the boss is going to be taken out by our amazing unlimited submachine gun. We got a steel pipe. Well, that's going to come in handy later. Oh, we have pendulums. Oh, they just came flying at us. Okay. I don't think we've taken out a, a, a pendulum before either. There we go. They just kind of pulsate as their blood leaves their body. Ah, what a wonder, wonderful, wonderful sight. As Heather would say, not not a may, not a may. No, Heather enjoys. How did Vincent put it? Heather enjoys killing them, taking out their last breath. Well, that seems to be all of them. Just so quiet. It's almost just too quiet here. You know, Heather should not even worry about, about these. She should just be able to kill them, but as you can see, there's just like a, a wall. There's just a solid wall of these things. Well, can't do much about that now. We can. Kill them a different way, I guess. Go ahead and do that. Make the gas be emitted. And there we go. More handgun ammo that Heather obviously does does not need. If anything, I would love some more healing supplies. That would actually be pretty good, but yeah, fortunately, it's just not an option now, is it? These rooms are going to be a lot of fun for Heather. The rooms that are only filled with enemies and nothing more. Such as this blood stain on the wall and whatever else is kind of coming out of the wall there. Yeah, those pendulums are really vicious. I didn't realize how vicious that they actually are. They kind of have like a like a belt around them. They have like two heads. It's really hard hard to tell exactly what they are, but Oh, hello there, doggy. Just like that, it is silence. One more, once more. 
Oh, no, no, there's, there's another enemy around here. There you go. Now it is silent. Just as the game implies, Silent Hill. Hmm. That's right, it's over here. Now it's time. Go fight the boss. See how quickly we can take him out with our new weapon. Something else I should mention also, when you use special weapons, it subtracts greatly from your ranking in the game. So we probably will not be getting a good ranking. Okay, we are out of healing. Well, out of those. We gotta be careful with our with our health for sure. We don't wanna overdo it now. And be dead before we actually really <laughs> accomplish too much here, but now why does Heather enjoy pain? Well, that's just how how she's playing. This is what what she enjoys. Oh, I almost forgot this. There we go. There we go. Now we're in good we're in good condition. Alright, so let's just get out of here. Alright. I did indeed get get the pipe, yes. So some of these enemies respawn as well. Which is good because Heather enjoys killing as many things as she possibly can. We stomp on them, take their last breath out of them. Heather. Hmm. Heather enjoys murdering these enemies. So very, very much. Okay, it's now time for the first boss. Let's see how quickly we can take him out. And yes, that that a pipe that we picked up, we will see something with that momentarily. Okay, split worm. It is time to take take you out. I wonder if hmm I wonder if we'll be able to just do this in a one cycle. I'll just skip this scene as well. Here he comes. Oh, did you see that? That looked very funny, actually. <laughs> he was out for like a half a second. Okay. He like, he like pauses for like a moment. It's actually quite funny. You gotta think, is this the guy who, like, runs the power of the mall? Is he, like, the power ge generator? He's... 
Is he like the uh, main guy in charge? Maybe if we kill him, maybe that's why. Oh gosh, Heather. You get up. You can't, you can't be, be laying there all day. Take that, that's also s something else. You, you lay on the ground longer when you, when you get knocked down. How much damage we're actually doing? I, I don't know. It's like that. Dead. He got hit a little bit, but that that is what actually gives us and life and energy when we get hit. Is. Except now, there's far less people in the shopping mall because we have killed them all. We have killed all the people that are look like monsters to Heather. That is what I'm going to go with. That everything that we're killing, it's just people. It's not actually enemies. And what we just killed right, right there, that big boss of the mall, that was the CEO. Of this mall. We just killed the CEO of this mall. Who else is going to run this mall now? Beef jerky. Pointless. This is where Heather... This is where I was sleeping earlier. Though I might still be sleeping here, for all I know. I wish I were. You might be. You might be. Alright, let's go see our good friend Douglas and let's see what he's up to. Heather! It's you. What just happened? You must be one of them! What did I do? What do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but... I I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and... Forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? Hell if I know. So Heather is far from innocent. She's very far from innocent. She's she's a murderer. She's been killing so many people. Hmm. Oh, I think I I, I went I went the wrong way. No, okay. I went the correct way.
Let's go ahead and grab, grab this map. This is probably the area that, that you're in the shortest, but it has like the most complex map. I don't know, as I said, this area just always confused me. I guess because there's just so many ways to go, but it's very, very short. If you know what you're doing, if you know where, where you're going, pretty short. There's nothing for us there. Okay, where is that newspaper thing? I want to read that newspaper thing real fast as well. It might actually be on this side. Yep, there it is. Okay. We know the, sto the a story about the ghost who was killed on the train tracks. Now there's going to be many more ghosts around. With all the death that is happening in this area. Let's actually head down over this way. Uh, again, so confused in this area. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I think that we're on the right track now. Actually, I think it might it might be the other one, but let me go down here first. Yep, okay, here we go. We'll read the rest of the story about the man, and then we will be pushed by the man. I enjoy this scene. This 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 scene is interesting because it's it's one you can just easily miss. As Heather just looks distant into the for the for for her train to come, but it never does. Actually, it finally does, but Hmm, okay. This is also where we, we get the shotgun, but that's not going to matter too much with our amazing weapon that we have. This area is even more desolate and lonely for Heather. It's so silent, it's so quiet. All she wants to do is just get home. See some doggies in the distance that are going to be murdered. We'll just let the train get this one. Look at him. He's just running away from us. Darn dog. We cannot have any victims escape us. Oh! 
you can do that, huh? Just, just for that. Actually, well, doesn't really matter. You hurt us or you don't hurt us. It does not matter either way. Okay, so we gotta come down the other side, actually. There we go. Definitely need those health drinks. That's all that said that is here as well, okay. Well we killed some enemies and we and we got a, a health item. So that is what's important. Okay, we went back down both those platforms. Okay. Go ahead and save. Okay, so we have some other platforms here to go down. Again, this is the place that I always just get get lost. Everything, I guess that's what it is, because everything looks the same. And it's just so easy to just go the wrong way. And I, although I do seem to seem to be going the correct way for all of this stuff so far. I guess because I've just played it so many times, maybe it's just there in my mind. You dare do that to us, dog. Ah, there we go. Beautiful blood on the tracks. We couldn't have it any other way, you see. Heather's gotten really violent. She's now going to be starting, starting to crack some nuts. You know, Heather, I don't think your dad would be very proud of you for doing all this. drinks. Yeah, that's pretty much it here. Let me, let me see what our supply is of health drinks. Uh, two health drinks, four... Okay. Not not too bad, but not, not the greatest either. Okay, well, I know exactly where to, where to go now. I think we're actually almost done this area, which is good. This is probably like my least favorite area. Favorite area would have to be, hmm, what is my favorite area? Oh, I think I think it's the hospital. Yeah, that's that's I think my my favorite area in the game, because there's, there's just so much going on in the hospital. Oh, we have a shotgun now, oh, but of course we're not going to use it at all. Definitely not going to use it on this insane- oh look, the placement of the insane camps is different. Before he was right at, right at the steps. 
Oh no, there's actually two of them. That's that's why. Okay. Let's see him deflate. There we go. Deflate like a balloon. That's going to be a lot of fun, killing those guys. Okay, so where are we? I don't think we need to go down there. Let's go over here. I think this is at Bergen Street. I hear dog- oh! There's some doggies over there that we have missed. Hmm. That's over on Hazel Street, it looks like. I think we were already over there. We just they just must have respawned. We have to kill them now. There's there is no ex there is nothing that can escape us. Hmm. Doggies. These doggies may have gotten away. We're hitting them a little bit. I don't know why I'm even trying to kill him from over here. We got one. We got one of them. The other one over there, I think he's just too far away. We can't get him. Now, if Heather had, like, a rocket launcher, maybe. But she does not have a rocket launcher. All right. Those are going to be killed by the train, unfortunately. Darn. I wanted to kill those doggies. Okay, now it's time to board the train. And then we're heading to the sewer area. The sewer area I actually really do like. Surprisingly. But... The other areas, I mean, I mean, this this area right 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 here, um, really not, really not my my favorite. Okay, get on the train. We let one dog escape, but that is okay for now. We got a save point, we're just going to skip over it. And we also have the big daddy coming up here too that that that, that we'll be killing. Just like that. Hmm. I don't think Heather's 
thirst for blood can never be quenched. She just desires it too much. Oh, what's that picture next to him? That's like a interesting looking picture there. Looks like like the moon or something there. That's interesting. Never noticed that. Wait a minute. Okay. Heather has bloodlust. Yes, she does. She indeed does, especially with just the the volume of blood that is coming out of these enemies. That's why it's just so much. Maybe what it is, is when she had that nightmare. Or our previous playthrough, let's just say, was her nightmare. This is how she... This is Heather's true form right here. This is how she really is. Maybe then, when she woke up from that nightmare, she's like, I'm not going to allow this to happen to me. So she decided, I'm just going to kill everything in sight. I'm going to kill everything I possibly can. So that doesn't happen. Despite the fact, despite the fact that how her dream went, things are happening very, very similar to how it happened last time. Except there's a lot more blood. A lot more killing. She's killed everything in sight. This is also new right here during your psycho playthrough. Everything gets all bloody in this room. Really, really cool. Oh, and it's killing us. Okay, we have to get out of here fast. This this thing is killing us. Let's actually unequip the... Oh my gosh, that drained a lot of health. I don't even want to fight the enemies in this room because I, I wasn't expecting that amount of health loss, to be honest. Let's just go through the door. I can find the door. Wow, this is this is awful. Where's the door? Oh my gosh. Maybe I should maybe I should I should just die here. I could not find that door because I I can hardly see in this room. Oh my gosh. I wasn't I didn't know that that room was going to do that to us. Okay, let's go ahead and hit continue. We still have all of our... Okay. Let me actually unequip that now. So we can run a bit faster. That was... That was awful. So those enemies are going to be off limits. We cannot kill those enemies. Let's just run through here as fast as we can. I'm going to go through the door before I heal. Okay, we're at the verge of death. So... I guess the door is... I'm looking at a map here. The door should be to the left somewhere. There it is. Ah. We made it.
And now, now I kind of want to go back, back in there and kill these enemies. Will it, will it get all bloody again? No, it doesn't get all bloody again. Good. No, 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 Heather. Okay, good. Heather enjoys all this pain, though, so... There we go. These will be our victims, after all. Oh, even this is all bloody. Well, I'm not going to go down there then. But over here, is this all bloody too? Yeah. Wow. That's that little loop-de-loop. -loop. A loop-de-loop -loop that is pointless, except for it has en enemies in it. Okay, so there were some victims that got away, but they were spared, rather. Okay. Oh, he deflates too. Hmm. But his babies do not deflate. Ah. Uh. Nice to have health drinks again. Now, I wonder if, if you didn't have enough health supplies... Oh gosh. These things are fast. If you didn't have enough health supplies to get through that bloody room, what would happen then? I like that squeaky music that plays here. Sounds like valves being turned. The nice, calm, and relaxing music. And then it changes to this ambience. Whew! That's that fast. That's fast. I wonder what kind of person all of these enemies would resemble. Hmm. Obviously, the closers would resemble like a nurse type enemy because they have like a nurse's body and they have lips. The nurse's lips. Oh, I don't think we actually looked at all the way over here before. There you go.
eager to see different sights. I really thought that room was going to get bloody too, but it did not. Fortunately. Yes, we shall fill up our bottle now. Oil-filled bottle. Now, Heather has no problem drinking pure oil. She can just chug that stuff. She's really... She's really strong in that regard. Okay, so I'm really hoping that this room over here doesn't have that blood all over the walls. Because if it does, then we can't actually stay in here. This is that room that's just a bunch of enemies. Okay, it looks like there's no blood, so we can take care of all these guys. Don't even know what I'm shooting at, but... I hear pe uh, pendulums over there. I know that. There they are. Okay. Careful of my health. Let me do. There you go. So what I think this room was, this is probably where all of the people who work here were having a meeting. And Heather just came in and just shot them all up. Yeah, that's not very nice, Heather. Okay, we can actually explore this room up a bit now. I can't budge it no matter how hard I try. I think it must be rusted shut. Maybe that's what the employees here were trying to do. Maybe they were trying to... ...fix that, but no, you just... He just came and just destroyed their little meeting that they had. One thing we hear is the sound of her footsteps. Quiet sound. Of only one person's footsteps. Sloshing mm. around.
Oh, this is a pleasant place. Now just bring your body with me. Just kind of drag it a little bit. Hmm, that little growl that they have. Never noticed that before. Okay, let me see something. Yep, we're in the right spot. That's going to come in handy, definitely. The ampule. Wonder how quickly we'll be able to take care of the final boss with our new weapon. Especially on hard difficulty. I mean, we didn't take out the split worm as fast as I was thinking. But I guess that's because after we did enough damage to him, he just kind of moved into back and in, back into his little hole area. Oh, he's, he's trying to come in to protect his baby. We can't have that now. Was this a mother? Hmm. Either way, they're dead. That's all that matters. All that matters to Heather, anyway. Yes, health drink. Health drink, please. Oh, and... I don't know, I thought that was a first aid kit, but no, it's not. Anything else of importance? Okay. It's time to take take care of this darn monster now. We know how to take care of this monster. Let's see. I don't I don't know if we can do this. Okay, here we go. Will you drop the steel pipe into the pool? This is this is new. So we picked up that steel pipe, but we never used it. So go ahead and drop it in. You know, even though Heather does like to kill a bunch of stuff, she's not a liar. Well then, was it this magnificent silver pipe? No, it wasn't that either. Perhaps it was only this filthy steel pipe that you dropped. Yes, it was. Oh, I have finally found a truly honest man. In return, I will give you both the gold pipe and the silver pipe to keep. Got the gold pipe and the silver pipe, yes. So, honestly, they don't really do anything. It's just cosmetic changes. So we get our steel pipe, our silver pipe, and the gold pipe. It's just cosmetic, cosmetic changes. How gorgeous. No stronger than the steel pipe, though. Good against vampires and werewolves. Gold pipe. It looks snazzy, but it's not strong at all. Well, maybe I can sell it. Yeah, it's just... It's just cosmetic changes. Nothing really too important. I believe that little thing there with, with that woman, that is based on something. I forget exactly w of what it is. Um, maybe some, like, fairy tale or, or something. I really do not remember. But it is, a, it is a fun little secret. And, yeah, I... The other thing, I mean, I... 
I don't know who uh, play. Oh, it is a fairy tale. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure who the voice was of that person, but I always um, kind of sounded like Donna. I don't want to equip this. Kind of sounded like Donna Burke, the person who does who did Cla uh, Claudia. So I'm not. I'm not entirely sure that that's her. It's a little uh, different because when she's playing Claudia, she sounds a bit different. So, I'm not sure if it's her, but it kind of it kind of does sound, it sound like her from what I I know her voice to sound like at least. Ah, there we go. That's the sound I was waiting for. You know, I I'm looking over at the stream and it's just everything is just like pitch black. But on my but but on my screen, the actual game, it's not as dark. Oh, there's, there's two of these guys. More victims. These things are so annoying. One more to go. No, I thought there's even more. Oh my gosh. There we go. We have successfully killed all of the sewer enemies. Let's see what's on our map. Yep, we're off the map, just like that. We just walk through here and we're just instantly off off of the map. like that we're out we're now in the construction site this is actually where i'm going to save now actually and that's where we're going to call this episode yep here's the save point all right so we're killing a lot of things. We're very violent. Heather, I don't know why you're you're like this. As she, oh no. I think she wants to k uh, kill us now, but. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. As she's now killing us. Fortunately, the bullets do not penetrate through the screen. But, but, yes. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Wishing you all well. And we will continue next time where we go through the rest of the construction site. Construction site, very, very small. Go this part of the, that connects to the Hilltop Center. Go, to the hill, go through the Hilltop Center, return home. Go through the hospital. Uh, most like, likely. And then past that, There'll be one more stream, um, and we'll finish up the game during the second run. Possibly, uh, yeah, probably. 
Yeah. And uh, then we'll see what happens with all this killing that that we are doing. Maybe something something's going to happen. All right. So you all take care. I will catch you all again very soon. And have a good night. Bye-bye.